Lots of people ask the question as to whether or not they can use one Mac as a display for another Mac. They are often considering buying a new Mac and would like to use an old MacBook or iMac as a screen for their new, iMac, uh, new Mac. Or they are interested in a Mac that only supports one external display would like to use two external displays and wonder if there's a solution for that. There are four main free ways to do this that I'm aware of. The first is using the AirPlay to Mac feature in Monterey. The feature is only officially supported in newer Macs though, so you can't officially use this feature if your Macs can't run Monterey or if one of your Macs isn't new enough to support AirPlay. To use AirPlay, we go into Display Settings and you can see the option to add display. In this case, I have my 2015 MacBook Pro, which is set up for AirPlay. Selecting the display will extend our desktop to the monitor on the MacBook Pro and it will run over my local area network. It will be like having another display on my MacBook Pro itself. Note that both systems are running Monterey. And I can just I can pick the resolution that I want on the display running off the MacBook the uh, my old MacBook Pro as well. If you don't have a supported Mac, then you may have the option to use Open Core Legacy Patcher. OCLP allows you to run Monterey on many unsupported Macs. It is not entirely risk-free and can result in some things not working, but I have it up and running and I haven't had any problems with it. If you can run Monterey but your Mac isn't supported for AirPlay to Mac, then you can use an OCLP process to patch an existing Monterey installation to enable AirPlay to Mac, even though your Mac isn't officially supported. Mr. Macintosh's video about unlocking AirPlay, uh, which is linked in the description section, describes how to do this. It is a moderate level of work to get it to working. And this is what I did on my 2015 MacBook Pro, which is what I'm using here to demonstrate using a second Mac as a display for another Mac. There is another link. If you don't have Monterey running and you have an unsupported Mac, then there is a web page which I've linked in the description section to Mac Rumors with the title Mac OS 12 Monterey and Unsupported Max Thread. And as you can see, it's a very, very long thread on how to get Monterey running on old Macs. Um, I, I got it running on my 2014 MacBook Pro, which is officially not supported. Um, these are the directions. It is a little bit involved, but um, there are a lot of people that are using this today and it works reasonably well. The third way to do this is using a program called Better Display. This runs on Big Sur and Monterey. I have not tested it on older operating systems and you might have to build it yourself or older versions of Mac OS. I am running Big Sur or Monterey on my newer systems, so I haven't looked into it. To use Better Display, we go to the GitHub website, then click on Releases, and then click on Assets. And so this will download it. And we'll run it, so we'll just drag it into applications. In my case, it's already there, so I'll just 
hit replace and we'll hit eject. One thing you need to do is enable screen sharing which we can do in displays. Oops, um, sorry. Go do that in sharing and make sure that screen sharing is turned on. So we'll go into Applications and we'll start up Better Display. And we see it here. So I'm going to create a new dummy 16 by 10 for WSXGA. And, and so now we have two displays. So if we go into Settings, Displays, you can see the two monitors. So you can use the display just like a real display, except it's not attached to anything right now. So this is what a virtual monitor looks like. So the reason we create a virtual monitor is so that we can go to another Mac and connect to that virtual monitor and then just use the display like a physical external display. Next we go over to the 2015 MacBook Pro and we'll try to connect to our screen. So first we go into System Preferences, then go into Sharing, and then Allow Screen Sharing. Then we'll click on the Finder. And let's see. This is this machine. Um, so we'll go to Network. And we'll click on MacBook Pro. And we can see the drives. Then we'll click on Share Screen. And there's the window into our 2021 MacBook Pro. Then we can just expand the screen and we'll go over our 21 MacBook Pro. And so this mouse is being moved from the 2021 MacBook Pro. So we can drag a window from the other system over here and drag it back. To disconnect, we hit this little connection button and then to disconnect. And then we'll hit escape. And that ends our session. So that's it for better display. It's uh, it's not bad. I find that better display is a little bit slow uh, for moving windows around. That is, the performance is not quite as good as some of the other methods. The fourth method is an open source project called Fluffy Display. There is a link to this project page in the description section. Fluffy display works like better display, but it more focuses, sorry, it's more focused. Fluffy display is only for creating virtual displays on your Mac, while better display can do this, but it also has a lot of other functions, including improving the resolutions and fonts for displays on Macs. Better display also has a paid pro option, which gives you additional features, but those features are not required for using virtual displays. The Fluffy Display project owner prefers that you build projects yourself, but not everyone is a software engineer, so there was a link on the page to a kit. I did build it myself a while ago, and it is fairly involved, especially if you are not used to building projects. So let's uh, click on the Fluffy Display page, and this is what it looks like. Then to get the kit, 
we click on the releases and then the version number and here's the zip file which we'll download um, you can see that it hasn't been updated since 2020 so it's been around for some time and there are 23 forks so there are other people that have taken fl the fluffy display project and made modifications to it I have not really investigated those changes but um, fluffy display is a first uh, pass at something to do this okay so let's go take a look at the download and there it is um, so let's start it up and you can see the little fluffy display icon in the menu bar and what we do is we create a new display now with fluffy display you have to specify the resolution that you want for the other system so in this case um, we'll pick WUXGA as that's uh, normally what I have set on my 2015 MacBook Pro creates it and uh, we'll go into settings display and there's our virtual display one other thing that I need to do is go into screen sharing on the 2020 iMac and turn that on uh, you have to have screen sharing on on both of the systems I think so back over to the 2015 MacBook Pro and we'll go into system preferences sharing and uh, just make sure that screen sharing is on Well, it's on here now. We go into Finder, and um, the right machine. Nope. Um, click on the network, and then we see the share screen. Click on share screen, and uh, just like better display. We get our other monitor. Uh, so let me just drag a window over. And uh, yeah, just drag it back. We can go full screen. And um, do the same thing and then this is the way to disconnect you click on that hit disconnect then hit escape and our wind our wind our screen sharing is shut down so uh, that's it with fluffy display so um, yeah you can pull the kit and just run it as shown um, if you can do it that way I would recommend dragging it into applications and you're done. So that's kind of it for this video. Um, this is a first pass at it. Uh, I may do an updated version of it um, if there are a lot of issues with it. But these are the four main ways to use another Mac as a display for a Mac and um, it's been quite involved in doing the research for this as there are a bunch of different projects and they all work kind of in different ways. My favorite uh, way to do it is using fluffy display. The downside for fluffy display is that it's somewhat restricted in the resolutions that it supports. I think I could fix that by modifying the source code to add in a, other, a bunch of other resolutions, but um, 
I'm actually pretty happy with what it supports right now for what I do. So yeah, that's it.